You're watching Fox 45 Morning News. All local, all morning. April is Financial Literacy Month, how you can help high school students manage their money. You are watching Fox 45 Morning News Weekend. Well, April is Financial Literacy Month, and now is a great time to teach and empower high school students, even some college students, helping them figure out their personal finances and how to manage their money. We have Roy Paul, the Executive Director of Sensibility Incorporated, joining us this morning with some easy things that teenagers can and should be doing now to make sure that they are financially set in the future. So good morning, welcome, thank you for being here. It's such a pleasure to be with you. And tell me, are you working directly with the teenagers? You're working with some of the parents? Who are you working with? So we partner with nonprofit organizations, schools, charter schools, private schools, and we connect with them. They tell us which one of our eight modules they would like us to teach. Our volunteers, by and large, come from the financial services industry, and they go out and they teach the material. Okay, are we talking about like 13 on up? I would say about 14 to 21. Okay. Never too early to start. No. Where do you start when you're talking to teenagers? Well, the first thing is to have the conversation. A lot of parents don't feel comfortable in many cases having the conversation with their kids. My in part, uh, due to the fact that many of them aren't financially literate themselves. Uh, so we have a lot of our participants who say they don't really talk about money at home. Mm -hmm. uh, but there are three basic tips, I think, that parents and, and young people in general can benefit from. And it's important to note that while we target teens, many of these principles can be applied across the board no sure. matter what uh, age you are. Uh, the first one is the issue of savings. So we teach the 50-30-20 rule. Uh, and I think the most important part here is that 20% of every check that you get should go into a savings account that you do not touch. Uh, it's important for young people especially to build savings habits that will you know, benefit them in the long run. Uh, the second is about a budget. Uh, learning how to create a budget is something that's critically important. 42% of Americans do not have a budget uh, that they operate with on a daily basis. And that's important for a number of different reasons. Um, but if you don't know how to do one, I always say Google is your friend, right? Mm -hmm. Google how to create a budget. And that's something that uh, you should be able to discern. What is your needs versus your wants? Um, and then the third thing is critical. And for me, it's a touching point with young people. And that is about retirement benefits. Um, we have a third of Americans who do not have a retirement saving account at all. So they get to a point where they work 30, 40 years. They want to perhaps retire, spend time with their grandkids, go on vacations, and they can't do it. And so many uh, adults are not able to retire because they haven't built up that nest egg. And teenagers are at the point where some of them have some youth employment jobs. As you get into college, you graduate, you get your first jobs, and many of them aren't opting into the 401k benefits that their companies offer because they don't know about it. And they get that HR packet when they get it. Seems uh, like foreign, yeah. Exactly. And they don't read through it. It's just, ah, oh, well, yeah, they take it and they throw it to the side. So we tell them, read that HR packet, some critical information in there. Yeah, you just have to start. And you're right. These are good advice no matter what age you are, exactly. too. You can use that in your 20s, in your 30s. Yeah, it's really good stuff. Um, you said you're based in New York, mm -hmm. Sensibility Incorporated, uh, but you want to expand. So so how can people get involved, learn more? I mean, your programs sound great. Yeah. As the pastor says, we move by the spirit. Uh, and so we want people to tell us that they're interested. So folks who are watching, please let us know whether you're a school or a corporation. Uh, a lot of companies who deal with finances every day, they like to sponsor these opportunities because we provide them free for the young people and the students. So no one pays at all to participate in our programs if you're one of our partners. That's awesome. Uh, and so, you know, if they contact us and say, this is something we would love to have in Baltimore, uh, we would love to do that. We're actually launching in Chicago next year. And that's because people came to us. We were featured in the New York Times in January and because of the interest there we were now branching out into Chicago so we okay. love to do that hopefully people are listening find out yeah I exactly 